started writing cool. and I never changed it. I put some music to it and mm -hmm. I never sang it and it's called a prayer. And I did not recognize it as being a gift or uh, a thing, you know, for a long, long time. Um, actually, up till about three or four years ago, I always said to people, anybody can do this. No. Yeah. And people were saying, no, they can't. Yeah, no, it, it's tough to write a, a song that people will want to listen to over and over again or that touch people. I mean, that, the emotional connection is, uh, is probably the tougher part, I would say. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, because... That's what the good Lord has given me is, is songs about life and songs mm -hmm. about um, sometimes about uh, unfortunate things like a brother of mine whose uh, daughter died at 19 in an accident and, and the words kept coming, you, yeah. know, you weren't supposed to die before I, I did. And that's the name of it. And yeah. My sister-in-law has never heard it, but it's, uh, it's heavy. Yeah. So I found and then there's songs about a little baby called Little Hands and Little Feet yeah. that we just released last month. And uh, the very first song that really fits into what's going on today, uh, I wrote it in, in uh, just after 9-11, and it's called You Can't Take the Us from the Good Old USA. Well, that's the, that's the title of the new album as well. Yes, it is. Yeah. And the people over there, the men and women who are over there fighting, are I've been there, done that. Mm -hmm. But how about the people here that were left back? You know, what about the families and the mothers and mm -hmm. the fathers and the grandparents and the wives or the husbands uh, and the children? You know, there's a battle that has been going on here for years and years. I'm a, at the end of World War II type of baby, and um, I'll be 70 years old this year. And those people who stayed behind, um, mm -hmm. they suffered a lot. But, you know, the interesting part is that they taught my generation about fairness. They taught us about why those people were where they're fighting, yeah. what they were fighting for. It, they, they did it for the next generation, and they did it for, you know, the, the ones that come beyond them. It wasn't a selfish thing. They weren't trying to make the world better for themselves. They were thinking, you know, of their children, their grandchildren, and their great-grandchildren. Or you get that? You understand that? <laughs> I, I, I am uh, I'm not a child of veterans, but uh, three of my four grandparents were veterans, so I, I understand completely. So. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you what I what I love about the song is that um, it just speaks the truth, mm. and there's nothing shocking about it. It's just that uh, you know it seems like they hate us for all that we stand for. You know, mm -hmm. there's none of us perfect, and uh, that's for darn sure. Um, you know, so it's like, yeah, that's true. Absolutely. So, in that generation, you know, some of them saw the Great Depression, and, and yet they still took time to pray for the people. Mm -hmm. And they still do. Uh, my, a good friend of mine, two good friends of mine who have been playing at nursing homes for the last five years, and um, the elderly, uh, they, they understand that we understand. Yeah. Just like what you just said. <laughs> You know, that's the kind of stuff people want to listen to. And mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying that the music today is bad, because then it sounds like my dad or my grandpa. What kind of stuff is that? Yeah, <laughs> nothing's been good since yeah, 1980. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, Rose's Elvis Presley guy. Yeah. <laughs> but the other thing is, is that it was you, it's you and your predecessors mm -hmm. who brought me here. Because I, I grew up listening to music. I'm full-blooded Irish. My mother... I'm the oldest of ten. She had, had, wow. she had diapers most of the time, and yet always had a song on her lips. Yeah. And um, and so I listened to her, listened to the disc jockeys, you know, people like Ernie Ford and, you know, Ernest Taub, and then, you know, eventually Dean Martin and Elvis Presley and oh, yeah. Waylon Jennings, et cetera, et cetera. But without you and the people <laughs> before you, I would not have had all the music in me that I do have. And my mother knew the songs and the words to more songs than most baby mm -hmm. anybody I know. And therefore, when we go to the nursing homes, we begin with songs that, you know, like You Are My Sunshine. And, oh, yeah. You know, songs that they know, and they know them better than we do. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. They've been singing them since they were brand new, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. There you have it, so. And they'll say, you know, my dad sang that, or... My husband and I used to sing that, or I, I sang that to my children when they were growing up. Yeah. And it takes your heart. Yeah. And we just tell them the truth, you know. Wow, thank you, thank you for everything that you gave us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
and they're still giving, and they're still praying for people, and, uh, and we do the same. There you go. Joe Loftus, again, in studio here at Coyote 93.7, today's country margin. And, uh, like I said, Joe, kind of new to country music, uh, you know, I mean, in the respect that you've got a brand new song out. Uh, and the one that I've got, personally, I think is We Can't Get the Cops in the Little USA. And I think it's a great tune. I think, honestly, you know, it really kind of hits home. And uh, anyone that's a veteran or a family member of a veteran or something like that, I mean, it really will kind of get you and kind of get you, like, you know, right there where you start to, you start to feel it. So, mm -hmm. But, I mean, it, it's a great tune. The whole album is fantastic, by the way. you got a couple of old Johnny Cash covers on there, and uh, I believe... There's an Elvis Presley cover on there as well. So you, you really do kind of have that voice that matches those two guys pretty quick, you know, pretty close. I do. I, I met Johnny Cash in 1962 in the Turp Ballroom in Austin, Minnesota. Oh, yeah? Shook his hand and got his autograph. And um, he said, how are you doing, son? There's a big, tall drink of water, and I couldn't even say anything. <laughs> he had just released the album Ring of Fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, right at the height of his, his yes. pinnacle. Yeah. I thought, wow. And I've still got the autograph. <laughs> I can't say I remember much more, right. you know, about it back then. But I was a, a senior in high school. I thought, man, this this is great. Very nice. Yeah, that would have been really cool. I, I honestly, one of the biggest regrets that I ever had was, you know, not being able to check out Johnny Cash before he passed, or you know, even just to, you know, see him live somewhere. You know, I never got that opportunity. So, yeah. Yeah. but hey, we've got our own version, I guess, in my generation with like Garth Brooks and Alan Jackson and. You know, all those guys. So, And they're all great, too. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, kind of the gospel line with Al, Alan Jackson. You know, I think he just released a, a gospel album as well. So I feel, you know, you're along that same lines, kind of. Well, thank you. That's a great compliment. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, Joe Loftus, he's from Hudson. And, uh, Joe, do you want to take a take a listen to one of these tunes? Do you want to do you, you want to pick one for me? or? Well, you you want to just go with the title track? Yeah, let's go with the title okay. track. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Joe Loft is here in studio again, hanging out on Coyote 93.7, Today's Country and the Legends. Let me make sure that this thing still works. Yes, it does. All right, so here we go. It's Can't Take the Us from the Good Old USA. It's Joe Loft is here on Coyote 93.7, Today's Country and the Legends. <coughs> there you go, sir. When we recorded it, we went back and forth with one word. Yeah. Darner game. <laughs> and I, I still to this day don't know. Yeah. Kind of. Well, which one did you go with? I went with it. Yeah. yeah. But you think of like 9 11. Yeah. You know, it's, it's serious. It, it's hard, yeah, it's hard to not get that adamant, you know. Yeah. That's emotion. You know, yeah. Choosing between those. Come to the brightness. Right. None of us work. And that is for I think, it, I think it works. I do too. Yeah. The producer thing. That's you want the Yeah. You want that little bit of little bit of emotion. So, oh, you're easy to talk to. <laughs> you really know music. I mean, you I, have a heart. I do. I I can't play a lick and I can't read it. You know, I can't do any of that. But I I really do just enjoy music so much that I mean, it was funny. I was originally going to school for architecture. I was going to be an architect. Yeah. Uh, I made it two years through architecture school, and I was just like, I can't do this. You know? I was just like, I really want to, and I would love the money, because you pay salary $70,000 a year. Um, but I went back to my parents, and I was just like, yeah, I don't know if architecture is my thing. And they're like, okay, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't want to do radio. And he said, yeah, we thought you were going to do that. <laughs> oh. You know, you're too much of a person, a people person. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, um, I, I really do. I mean, uh, tomorrow I'll be in two, uh, we've got two remotes. I'll be up in St. Germain, which is about 45 minutes north of here. I'll be at a golf, uh, golf course for like demo days. So a bunch of people are going to be coming by just to swing some clubs and things like that. And then after that, we go to a furniture store and meet a bunch of people there. And I'm like, I, I love doing that. Yeah. And then on the 4th of July, we're in four parades and hosting a band at a bar in the evening. Wow. So I just like getting out and yeah. seeing the people. So. You should get into Alrighty. I don't think this auto stops. So. <laughs> And then you're going to just kind of end it with Joel. 
Yeah, yeah, or I might spin another one. So, if you want to do 60 Chevy, you now we've talked about it. Coyote 93.7, today's country and the legends. There you go, that is Joe Loftus. And you can't take the us from the USA. And I got Joe in studio. Joe, again, I love that song, man. That's a great tune. It is a great tune. It's a great <laughs> message in there. Yeah. I was just talking about we were in the studio and should we use darn or should we use, darn? you know, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, but I'm not into swearing, but the you know, producer said, no, you know, use, use. Mm -hmm. Damn, because right. it, it has the impact. And yeah. It's like, okay, I, I would never want to hurt anybody's feelings or insult anybody, but, uh, you know, it's like that's that's what fits. So, there you go. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Loftus, again, out of Hudson, over there by the Twin Cities. And, uh, Joe, if people are interested in maybe, uh, you know, following your career or getting themselves a, a copy of the CD, how do they how do, they do that? Well, it's amgjoeloftus.com. Well, we're on iTunes, we're on Django, we're on CD Baby, and a few other ones that I don't recognize because <laughs> I still got eight tracks, and so they kind of leave me alone with all this computer stuff. <laughs> They're like, Joe, we'll set all that up, don't worry. And, and that is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. If it wasn't for the people behind me, there would be no way that would happen. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, the, I'm I'm still using vinyl, so oh. I, oh, I've got a ton of it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an old school guy. I've still got uh, Willie Nelson Stardust on vinyl. Uh, what about, uh, I just picked up a, a, a remastered fresh press of the Sam Quentin, Johnny Cash Sam Quentin. Mm -hmm. yes. So, yeah. so I, I, I appreciate the old school media forms as well. So yes, I've got a Johnny Cash uh, Sun album mm -hmm. that's worth a lot of money. Oh, I can guarantee it is. Yeah, <laughs> I belong to the Columbia Record Company, mm -hmm. or uh, you know, if. if Everyone joined it at the time, but this is 1957, and I still have those albums. Oh, wow. So, Jeez. Yeah, a little scratched. Nah. Being the oldest of ten kids, everybody had their shot at yeah. it. Yeah, you know? everybody else got to listen to it. You'd be listening to Priest and Oh, boy, that was cute. <laughs> well, I guess we're done with that album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Joe Loft is in studio here at Coyote 93.7, today's Country and the Legends. And, uh, well, Joe, I really appreciate you coming all the way over. Hopefully things have dried out a little bit over on your side of the States. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I just talked to my brother and he said it's raining off and on, off and on all day. So I mean, Well, right now we got a little bit of niceness outside. But amen. Yeah, it was raining. Beautiful raining. town you have here. Well, it's thank beautiful. you. Yes. Yeah, all of the Northwoods appreciate you coming in and uh, saying hi. And, well, hopefully, sir, we'll be hearing more and more from you. Thank you. Is there a fair amount of farming up in this area? Or? Uh, yeah, there's a fair amount. We've got a lot of, uh, you know, potato farms and okay. cranberry bogs. When so. I was a kid, we used to go to my uncle's farm, and my aunt, my dad being one of 14, mm -hmm. my aunt said she slept 50 people more than once in their big farmhouse. Wow. And, and the one, uh, the days that we spent on the farm, uh, yeah. we're just going to release. So uh, that, that'd be a great one to play this time of the year, <laughs> because it talks about the 4th of July. Well, do you think we should, I think we should hear that one then. All right. All right. This is Joe Loftus. Again, Joe, thank you very much for stopping on by. I'm going to let you make the long trip on back home. Well, God bless you and all the people. <laughs> all right. Joe Loftus here on Coyote 93.7. This is Those Days We Spent on the Farm. It's right here on Coyote 93.7, today's country and the legends. <laughs> there you go. Ben, you're great. <laughs> oh, so yes. relaxed. Yes. Could you stand by Ben? Yeah. Could I have a picture of Ben? Sure. Um, actually, we've got a 